My name is Anna and I'm a registered respiratory therapist at St. Barnabas Medical Center. This is an incentrospirometer, also known as an IS, is a device that will keep your lungs healthy, especially after surgery. The incentrospirometer helps to protect your lungs from complications after surgery from being less active. It helps by expanding and exercising your lungs. Your incentrospirometer consists of a mouthpiece, the main chamber that has a piston and a goal marker that will tell you of your progress. It also has a flow indicator that tells you if you're breathing too fast or too slow. Now to begin, sit up straight as possible. Hold the IS upright and place the mouthpiece in your mouth, sealing your lips tight around it. Now start to inhale deep and slow through your mouth and you will see the piston rise. When you get it as high as you can, remove the mouthpiece and hold your breath for at least three to five seconds. Make sure while you're inhaling, the flow indicator is hovering in the best position. While you're holding your breath, the piston will drop to the base of the incentrous barometer. Exhale slowly through your mouth. If you're feeling dizzy or short of breath, rest until you feel better. Pay attention to what number the piston rises to. Place the marker at the highest number you reached and try to improve on how high you go each time. We recommend you to do this for a total of 10 breaths every hour while awake. Focus on doing slow, deep breaths and doing it properly and you will see your numbers improve. When using the incentrous barometer, remember to breathe in through the mouthpiece and not breathe out into the mouthpiece.